When delicious food is readily available, it can be hard to regulate how much we eat. Diets can help with weight loss, but only as long as you can stick to them. We need a new approach because weight loss in the 21st century means dealing with temptation like we've never had before. I think we need to understand that we're overeating because of the clash between how our bodies and brains evolved and the modern types of foods that we're eating now. Working with people who struggled with weight loss, I've discovered that four particular eating habits are responsible for the majority of overeating and for feeling out of control around food. What I'm going to talk about in this video is, first of all, why it is hard for us to regulate how much we eat. We didn't evolve to cope with highly processed foods and it's becoming clear that these foods have particular effects on our brains as well as our bodies. Second, why we need to focus on eating habits in order to lose weight in a way that is sustainable. It's the way we eat day in, day out that determines what we weigh. If we want to lose weight and keep it off, we need to address the habits that keep us overeating. And third, what are the four particular eating habits? These are the particular habits that I've seen over and over again in my clinics that people are desperate to change and I'm going to go through them with you so that you can see which might apply to you. Whilst we evolved over millions of years, the types of foods that many of us are eating nowadays have only actually been around for a few decades. We can see from the rise in diet related disease that our modern food environment is on a collision course with our appetite system. Modern food technology has created foods that stimulate rather than satisfy our appetite and our modern food environment encourages eating between meals. So overeating and unintended eating are all too easy. So why do we need to focus on eating habits in order to lose weight in a way that's sustainable? Well, focusing on the particular things that have scuppered your ability to lose weight in the past allows us to get much more Sherlock Holmes about where the problem actually lies. However many diets you go on, if giving into cravings for Pringles or turning to food when you're anxious causes the diets to crash land, it's not another diet you need. It's a way of approaching the cravings or the emotional eating. So let's look at what these four particular eating habits are that come up time and time again. First, overeating, by which I mean eating beyond the point of fullness. That might be because you're serving overly large portions and you're clearing your plate, or it might be because you always fancy something sweet at the end of a meal. The second is unintended eating, by which I mean snacking or grazing when you're not hungry. All too easy when food is just lying around, or if you live in a built-up environment where food outlets are everywhere. The third is to do with cravings. By cravings, I mean that sort of restless preoccupation with eating a particular food that seems to be only satisfied by consuming it. Whether or not you're hungry, you might find that you cannot stop thinking about a particular craved food. Of course, cravings tend very much to be for particular combinations of ingredients. So we tend to go for the high fat, high salt or high fat, high sugar type combinations. It's much more likely that we'll crave those types of foods than some much more simple unprocessed foods. The fourth is emotional eating, by which I mean using food to regulate how we feel. This is something that is a natural thing to do. It's not an abnormal thing to do but it can get a bit out of hand if we find that we're turning to food all the time to deal with feelings or we're trying to manage particularly intense feelings with food. If you recognise any of these as relevant to you, you'll find plenty of guidance in my videos to help you understand what's going on and how to change it. The great news is that psychologists have been hard at work developing techniques to help you get back in control of your eating, and I'll be sharing loads of these proven tools with you. I just want to mention that weight gain is not purely about eating habits. It's powerfully influenced by our biology. 
please watch all my videos bearing this in mind. And if you find that the content isn't helpful to you, then it's not your fault. It may be that talking to your doctor or other healthcare professional about other approaches would be more helpful to you. Okay, so how to start putting this into action? A good place to start is in establishing a routine for your eating. Establishing a regular pattern to your eating is key to maintaining a healthy weight. So my next video is all about this. It explains why regularity is important and it's about finding your own unique pattern that suits your biology and crucially your lifestyle. You want to be eating around your lifestyle. You don't want to be trying to fit your lifestyle into a particular way of eating. So that's what the next video is about. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share it with anyone else you think might benefit.